Hey everyone, good morning. I am Priyan Shekhar and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now we are going to see today's lead code daily challenge, which is domino and domino tiling. It seems like the, in this month the code is going to play with dominoes only. But yeah, let's see the question. So in this question, you have two types of tiles: a two class one domino shape and a domino shape tile. This one, a two class one domino tile. And something like this, a domino tire. And you may rotate these shapes. Okay, so rotate these shapes means like this. If this is a domino tire, so you can also use it something like this, or uh, something like this. In any way, you can rotate them. Okay. Okay. So in and you have been given an integer n, and you need to determine the number of ways to tire a two class n ball. Since the answer may be very large, return it to modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7. So what we have been given in this question is a two class one domino and a domino tile, and you have been given a integer n, and you need to tie the two class n board with this domino and domino tile such that every square must be covered by a tile. Okay, so let's see this with this test case in which you have been given n as three. Okay, so if you have n as three, then your board size will be two cross three, which is this, right? Okay, so in how how many ways you can cover this board? Okay, so let's see. So one way is you can put all these two nodes something like this. Okay, another way is you can put dom Two dominoes like this and one domino like this, right? Okay. And another way is you can put one domino like this and then two dominoes like this, right? Yes. Okay. And another way could be like you can use a domino tile, something like this, right? Or in one more way you can use a domino tile, something like this. Let me show. Like this. Right. So, how many ways? Is there some other way? I don't think so. So, there are total five ways you can cover a two class three board with this domino and domino tile. As you can see, you, there are five ways. Okay. So, like in this, you, now you got the question. Like, what you have to do? You have been given an integer n, and you need to cover the two class n board with this domino and domino tile, and you need to determine the number of ways you in which you can cover this board. Okay, so in the questions in which we need to find the number of ways, so we need to look for a different test cases like different values of n. Okay, so let's see the four different values of n. Okay, if n is equals to zero, then what will be your answer? Your answer will be zero, right? We will see for different values of n to see for so for some pattern in the answer. We will try to analyze for some pattern in the answer. Okay, so if you have N is one. It means two cross one board. It means there is only one way. Okay. If you have N is two, it means two cross two board. It means there are only two ways because the, this two cross two board will be something like this, right? And what ways will you have? One way is this. Another way is this, right? So you have two ways to cover the two cross two board. Okay. If N is three, then we have seen that. We have five ways, right? Okay. If n is four, then how many ways we will have? Let's see. If n is four, then our board will be something like two cross four, right? Two rows and four columns, right? So in this board also we can cover something like this: two dominoes like this, two like this, or we can have four dominoes like this, or we can have Four two domino like this, two like this, or we can have two dominoes like this, and then two like this. So in this way, there can be total of eleven ways in which you can cover a two cross four board, two cross four board. Yeah. Okay. And let's say for n is equals to five, also you will be going to have board something like this. We will extend it so this will become two cross five board. So for covering this two cross five board. You will need you. You will have twenty-four ways to cover this two cross five board. Okay, 
now we have like guessed sufficient number of different cases to analyze some pattern in the answer okay so let's see so can we write this 5 in some way like 2 into 2 plus 1 yes okay so can we write this 11 as 2 into 5 plus 1 yes these 0 1 and 2 are just simple numbers so we will not write them let, let it let it be we will write these numbers so can you see some pattern here that this 2 is coming from this this 5 is coming from this and 1 is a constant okay so let's say if uh, this is uh, something like a so can we say that a of n is equals to 2 into a of n minus 1 plus 1 can we say something like this yeah this is not wrong if we say because this a this number is coming from the value of the previous iteration right previous n okay but can the, is this one really a constant let's see for this n equals to 5 case as well 2 into 11 plus 2 no this n is not this one is not a constant this is coming from here which is n minus 3 so we will write it as a of n minus 3 you can see that if n is equals to 5 then this will be a of 4 plus a of 2 a of 2 right so what we have derived from here is that from the different cases of from the different values of n we have analyzed this equation that a of n is equals to 2 of a of n minus 1 plus a of n minus 3 right okay so let's try code this then you will get a little more better idea okay so what we have to do we have to create a vector which will store all those values let's say of v its size will be 1001 because our n can be up to 1000 only and we will initialize it with 0 good and we will initialize v of 0 with 0 we will not need to initialize 0 because n is going to we start from 1 so we will initialize v of 1 with 1 v of 2 with 2 as we have seen and v of 3 with 5 because we already know we if n is 3 then there will be 5 ways okay so if n is less than or equals to 3 then we will simply return v of n otherwise we will need to calculate their values so i is equals to 4 i is less than or equals to n i plus plus so v of n will get updated with sorry v of i will get updated with 2 into v of i minus 1 plus v of i minus 3 and the value can be very large so we will modulo it with mod and what is mod that to 1e9 plus 7 right cool now what we need to do we will simply return v of n right let's try run this yeah it's working fine let's try submitting it Yeah, it's working fine. So now let's talk about its time and space complexity. So as you can see that we are using only one loop, one iteration. So its time complexity will be big of n. And as we have used this extra space, which can, which is also up to n. So its space complexity is also big of n. So yeah, this was all for this question. I hope you get it. But if you still have any doubts, then you can post in the comment section. I will surely try to answer them. Till then, bye guys. See you in the next video.